cave painters. This is some of the first drawings of the whole world. It shows that art was important to people living long ago. In 1940, a cave was discovered by teenage boys in France. When they entered the cave, they were surrounded by paintings on the walls and ceilings. The paintings are estimated to be 17,000 years old. Most of the prehistoric paintings are large animals, such as horses, cattle, bison, and were painted with black, red, and yellow mineral pigments. These images are so fascinating just to look at and think about artists from long ago. Now today what I'm going to ask you to do is grab one of these cave art animals paper. It'll help you as you start drawing some of your images today. You'll notice that you're going to get a brown piece of paper. The brown paper is to remind us of this picture being created on cave walls. When you have your piece of paper in front of you, look at that animal handout to begin sketching out your drawing in pencil. It's better to start out with a light pencil drawing very first, and you can always make it darker once you have your overall shape done. Don't worry about any mistakes or errors right now, because as you could see some of the pictures that you saw on the walls, some of those artists made mistakes too. So please just go ahead and continue working on your project until it's a shape of an animal that you're pleased with and you like. Um, your image that you created. Once you're done in pencil, you can go ahead and darken it up a little bit more so that you can see which lines that you want to um, be able to see um, after we go through the crumpled up process. Let's go ahead and watch the rest of the video. Now I'm going to go ahead and speed up the camera a little bit because I'm just going to go ahead and darken it a little bit more and finish the rest of my drawing. On to the fun part, the texture of the walls. When you think about cave walls, are they smooth like paper? Well, definitely not. So I'm taking my paper and gently, slowly crumpling it down, opening it up, and crumpling it down once again. I want this paper to have a texture or a rougher surface to the edge of the paper. It makes it look like it's older, like it has a texture a feel to the paper. We'll go ahead and take a moment and outline with black oil pastel. This is a little bit more challenging to draw on because now the paper is textured. So there might be some wiggles and some bumps, but just like in your drawing, don't worry about making things perfect. Our overall goal is just to have some fun and making it so that everyone can see my drawing. Everyone can see the designs that I created into my animal. After you've done your black oil pastel, you can go ahead then and start thinking about applying color to your project. When you apply color, we're going to be taking some chalk, some dusty materials, and apply different colors like yellows, reds, and oranges into my project, grays. Colors that you would think that the very first artists created with, natural pigments, like colors that you might see in a cave. So if you think back to those images that we sh showed at the beginning of the video, those are the colors that you want to use in your project. We're going to stay away from colors like blues and purples and try to keep it more natural or earth-toned colors. Browns, yellows, and oranges. You notice that I can add more color and blend it with my fingers and just have fun but by creating some colors onto your page. I know I had a lot of fun adding some chalks onto my paper. This is how it turned out. I hope you have fun today. If you have extra time and want to do more, you can.